President's former Chief of Staff John Kelly also making headlines this morning, speaking out for the first time since leaving the White House about his time working in the Trump administration. Our senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega has the details. Good morning, Cecilia. And there's some eye-opening hey. stuff here, Cecilia. Yeah, George, there really is some eye-opening stuff here. He was speaking to students at Duke University. There no, were no cameras allowed inside, but we have obtained the audio. And, and really one of the big headlines here is just what you said, that this is the first time he's talking publicly since leaving the White House. So what he's not talking about, though, that recent report that he was ordered by the president to approve uh, those high-level security clearances for Jared Kushner, and that was over the recommendation of intelligence officials. But he did have a lot more to say. He Take a listen to what Kelly said he would have done had Hillary Clinton won, and what his advice is for his successor, Mick Mulvaney, the new chief of staff. What advice did you give uh, your successor, uh, Mulvaney? Uh, run for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> No, just the best you can. I mean, as I've, as I've said repeatedly, you know, just tell him what he needs to hear. Uh, if I'd have gotten a call, if Hillary Clinton had won the presidency, and she had called me and said, you know, I really need uh, a good chief of staff here, uh, I'd, have, I'd have probably done it. Um, politics aside, it's all about governing the country. <laughs> So he said he would have taken the job if Hillary Clinton won, and he tells Mick Mulvaney, run for it. Uh, he says being chief of staff is the least enjoyable job he ever had, George. Remember, he's a retired four-star general, but he also says that this is the most important thing he's ever done. And he's not shy about taking on the president's border policies. Yeah, this is a big one here. He now says that he's against that controversial child separation policy that we saw roll out along the border. Uh, he placed the blame squarely on Jeff Sessions, saying Sessions, of the former attorney general, saying Sessions caught the administration flat-footed. But George John Kelly was uh, defended that policy publicly while he was here in the White House. Yeah, and he also spoke out against sending the military down to the border as well. Cecilia Vega, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.